For the Zips Digital Network, Chad Welker here with men's basketball coach John Gross. And coach, just first uh, recap the 150 victory over Concord uh, this past Sunday. Did a lot of really good things coming off of final exams, Chad. Obviously, the area of improvement uh, that we've really targeted coming out of it would be our turnovers. We had 20 turnovers. We also had 22 assists. Um, 34 of the field goals were assisted 22 times. So we really shared the ball, moved the ball well, did some good things defensively, something to build on for sure. You know, was able to take a day off yesterday, take care of our bodies, and then start our prep for Tulane. Channel Banks uh, is getting uh, pretty familiar with that corner three-point shot. He's been a key role for you guys so far this year. No question. And his steadiness and consistency, Chad, has been amazing. It's what you want from a senior. You know, he takes and makes open shots. He puts his body in plays. He defends the other team's best perimeter wing or guard most nights and uh, has a great energy about him and plays hard very consistently. You know what you're getting from Channel and you know, that's the greatest compliment you can give a player is that uh, you know what you're getting from him every single day. Uh, he's never moody, same channel every day. So I really appreciate that and respect that as a coach, and I know his teammates do as well. Also want to talk about Lauren Christian Jackson. Saturday was a big day for him and his family as he uh, graduated from the University of Akron, one of the goals of your program. Yeah, he had a big weekend. had a ton of family here. had a birthday on Sunday and I turned 23. Saturday, he graduates with a degree from the College of Business and then plays on Sunday and had seven assists for us, had seven of those 22 assists and really orchestrated a lot of our offense and thought really set the tone in particular to start the second half defensively. So he had a big weekend, you know, uh, kudos to him. And you're exactly right. I mean, when you think about it, I told him, I said, it's amazing to think about the day we had you here for your official visit. And, you know, now here we are, you're getting ready to start a master's degree. You've got a college of business undergraduate degree and playing some of the best basketball of his, of his career. So, you know, we'll uh, use those certainly as trampolines, if you will, to catapult him here to a strong finish at the end of the 2019 calendar year and hopefully into January as we start league play. Now before we hit lead, league play, you're heading off to Washington, D.C. this weekend. You're going to start with Tulane on Friday afternoon. Uh, what do we know about the Green Wave, first of all? Well, Ron Hunter does a good job. I've known him for a long time, a very good coach, has really been successful uh, both at IUPUI and at Georgia State and um, you know plays a matchup zone that's uh, you know very effective and has done a great job recruiting in a very short period of time, adding a lot of transfers that are really talented and you can tell they're really coming together, sitting at eight and two, just like we are. And uh, it'll be a great challenge. You know, they're really good at taking your ball, you know, top 15 in the country in both steal percentage and forced turnover percentage. So you got to take care of the ball against them. You obviously got to attack their matchup and their changing defenses. And then, you know, you got to be able to guard their, their personnel. And they do a nice job of ball screening you and giving you different looks with those ball screens. So we've got our uh, hands full. It'll be a great challenge for us, but one we need right now. I'm anxious to go to D.C. with our crew and play the two games in two days. With the uh, second game, it's going to be a matchup between either Towson or Liberty. What do we know about those two teams, uh, even though you don't know who you're going to play until Friday? Not a lot at this point, only that you know my brother at Xavier played Towson and said they are very talented and very physical. and. Pat Scary's done a great job with that program for a very long period of time. And then obviously Liberty's undefeated. You know, one of the few remaining undefeated teams just won at Vanderbilt over the weekend. Richie McKay coaches them, does a great job. You know, former assistant to Tony Bennett at Virginia and uh, are very stingy defensively, just like Virginia, and uh, really pose matchup problems with some of their personnel and in particular the way they utilize their five man. So it'll be, a, it'll be a great challenge both days for us and we need to be challenged right now. So we're excited about the opportunity and the opportunity to grow. And then from the fact that you're headed to the nation's capital, will you guys take in some of the sites on, uh, I know since you guys will be there a, day, a little bit of a day early? Yeah, we're getting there obviously uh, tomorrow, but we won't get there till tomorrow night, Wednesday night. So, and our game's pretty early on Thursday and then the turnaround for the game's pretty early on Friday and then we're flying guys home for Christmas from there. So. You know, we might be able to for a little bit, Chad, but to be honest with you, it's primarily a business trip just because of the quick turnaround, when we get there, when we're leaving, and the fact that we're playing two games in two days. And, of course, it is a business trip, and you'll be back home here at James A. Rhodes Arena on December 30th. But a quick message uh, from Coach and uh, men's basketball program to all of our fans for the holidays. Well, happy holidays, first of all. Merry Christmas to all the Zips fans out there and others as well. And such a blessing uh, to have the opportunity to be a part of this program. And you know, I try to remind our players it's a privilege to be able to coach here. It's a privilege to be able to play here. 
such a blessing. And uh, certainly thinking about all the families, in particular of our players. I don't think people understand how much time and energy and effort, in particular the time piece, Chad, that they sacrifice, you know, over Thanksgiving. They're away from their families. You know, we're playing games. You know, they'll have a short break uh, just the way our schedule lays out uh, coming up here to go home for Christmas for a few days, and then they'll be right back preparing for a home game, as you mentioned, on December 30th. So, you know, kudos to the families out there, and, you know, thank you so much for giving us the opportunity to coach, uh, you know, their sons. Um, you know, we're really, uh, really blessed in that way and excited about our team and excited about the new year coming up. We just got to take it one day at a time. Appreciate the time, as always, Coach. And Folks, we expect to see you on uh, December 30th, but until then, again, happy holidays from the Zips Digital Network and all of the athletic department here at the University of Akron. Have a great rest of your week, and as always, go Zips.